Hello everybody and welcome back to How We Make Things. Today we are going to be making a Bluetooth controlled Infinity LED matrix. And if you have no idea what that means, don't worry, we're about to show you. Pretty sweet, right? All these patterns are being controlled by the application on the iPhone, as you can see. When you drag your finger across the dots, they glow. You can adjust things like how fast they fade, or what colors the LEDs are. As you can see, all of this is happening live, so as you draw your finger, it draws the shape. We hope to add a saved feature so you can save your sketches and play them back later. After that psychedelic trance, let's get down to the details of making this thing. So today I have Chris, my bro, that's him right there. He has experience in this field. He has made an infinity beer before. So uh, Chris, what are we doing today? So today we are gonna take the classic infinity beer project and we're gonna bump it to the next level. So what is your uh, part in this operation? So my role is gonna be more on the app side. Um, I'm gonna design and build the app that's gonna actually control via Bluetooth, the Infinity LED Matrix. So what do they need to get your app working? Okay, so to get um, the LEDs actually working, you can go to the GitHub repo that will be in the uh, notes, and you can download the uh, Xcode files and run it, plug in your phone with Xcode 7, and you can get uh, running the control LEDs uh, immediately. Yeah, so basically, he's gonna take care of all the app stuff for you. If you're adventurous, or if you're a Swift programmer, then you can go ahead and open it up and then mess around with it yourself. We're also gonna have the Arduino code up on the GitHub repository as well. So if you don't have an iPhone, you can download the Arduino code, you can put it on the Arduino, and then you can program whatever kind of funky designs you want that play over and over again. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with what we need to make this project a reality. As far as tools go, you're gonna need a drill, a sander, a tape measure, and a few clamps. If you have a corner clamp, it'll make squaring up a lot easier. As far as electronics goes, you're going to need an Arduino Bluno with a micro USB cable for programming, a 50 piece individually addressable LED strand, a 5 volt 8 amp power supply to power the LEDs, an iPhone or an Android tablet, and a computer with Arduino Sketch installed. To house the electronics you just saw, we're going to need a few materials. To start off with, wood to make a frame. Lexan to hold the LEDs and to sit inside the frame, reflective window tinting to put on the Lexan to act as a mirror, and to put on our pane of glass to act as a two-way mirror. So now that we know what this project's gonna take, let's go ahead and get started with building the frame. To make the outside of the frame, we use one by four inch pine. We put each piece into the corner clamp, added some glue to the end grain, clamped it together, and then shot a few nails into it to hold it in place. Pay attention to which side of the frame will be facing out, so that you can make each board flush with that side. After you finish constructing the outside of the frame, you're going to need to create the ledge to set the two-way mirror on. This will vary depending on how thick your glass is. For us, we use 1 16th inch thick glass, so our ledge sat 1 16th of an inch back from the front of the frame. For the ledge itself, we just used 1 inch by 1 inch board that we glued to the edge of the frame and clamped it in place to dry. After letting the frame dry for a little bit, I grabbed a sander and sanded down the edges to make it nice and smooth, then wiped it down so any sawdust was removed. After that, I grabbed some primer and did a nice thick coat over the entire frame. Except for the inside of the 1x4 frame, which we won't see because it will be covered up by the infinity matrix. After the primer was dry, we painted it with a nice glossy black. Once that was dried, I took some clear silicon adhesive and applied it along the edge of the frame so the glass could sit on it and dry. You have to leave it dry for about 24 hours though for it to set up properly. Now for the construction of the LED matrix. We used quarter inch Lexan because I had a piece laying around, but also because it's a heck of a lot easier to drill through Lexan than it is to drill through glass. Since we need a square, we're gonna do seven by seven LEDs. That's 49 LEDs. So I drew out 49 circles, 2.5 inches apart, 
and 2.75 inches in from each edge. This is because we chose a 22 inch sheet on which to make our grid. After you've drilled the holes, you'll need to go back with a straight razor to take off all the sharp edges. This is so that when you lay the tinted film down, it doesn't cut. And when I say you lay the tent down, I mean a professional lay the tent down because I tried to do it on this grid and it turned out horribly. Thankfully, the guys at Mid-America Tent, and in particular Dave, helped me out. They laid an awesome tent and it looks beautiful. So if uh, you have a professional nearby who can do that for you, and if you live in Overland Park, that's Mid-America Tent, definitely have that done. So after you had a professional lay the tent, flip the Lexan upside down, and poke the LEDs through the back of them. Remember that the first LED will be LED 1, so that when you press on the LED 1 in the app, it'll light up that one. By the way, I was originally going to epoxy these LEDs in place, but the holes that I drilled were so perfectly sized that I was able to just hold them there with friction. Since we have a 50 piece LED strand, and we only need 49 of them, the last one won't have a hole. But after you're done, it should look something like this. Now it's time to install the LEDs into the frame itself. But before I did that, I added a piece of Lexan around all four sides of the frame to make the infinity mirror stretch off horizontally and vertically. Before you install the LEDs though, you're going to need to clean the inside of the mirror very well so there's no dust between the mirror and the LEDs. Flip the LEDs upside down and insert them into the frame. It doesn't matter which way you do this because the frame is a square. I used four pieces of one inch by one inch pine with weather stripping along the bottom side of it to hold the mirror in place. I wanted to do it this way so that if I needed to, I could remove the mirror from the backside. I installed the Arduino in the top corner with a few screws. Next came the wiring. The LEDs have two power wires, a blue and a red. Red is positive, blue is negative. These need to go to the 5 volt adapter. The LEDs also have two other signal wires. One is a ground wire which will share the ground of the 5 volt power supply and plug into the ground of the Arduino. The other is a signal wire which we'll be plugging in to data pin 6. To finish up the wiring, you need to plug in the 5 volt adapter to the wall. And then you're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video and thank you to Chris for helping us out with this project. And if you want more detailed instructions on how to connect your iPhone or Android to the LEDs, check the description below. If you want a more detailed instruction on how to make this entire project, head over to our Instructable page which is in the description below. Thanks guys, thank you.